could do you use a device like this as opposed to the mountaintops um, when there's an emergency situation? Uh, emergencies that happen outside of our range of coverage right now. We Every Tuesday and Thursday afternoon, High Tech High Junior Katie Anderson reports in at San Diego Police Headquarters for her internship. So would this work in a moving vehicle? Yes, it would, as long as you're within line of sight and the antennas are near a window. Anderson is working with the Public Safety Department to improve communications with helicopter pilots flying emergency missions, like tracking carjackers and fighting wildfires. It's just two passes. It's this one, and then you do it again, but it's bumped 22.5 degrees to... Right. Uh, what I care about are these holes. Hi, Katie, I've got something for you. Working with adults in real-world settings is a core design principle of High Tech High. The academic internship program is a program that each and every one of our students has the opportunity to um, participate in. In fact, it's a graduation requirement. We send about 150 students per semester out into a real wide variety of internship sites um, and in a wide variety of industries. The okay. golden rule is this bridge. It provides them the opportunity to develop and foster relationships with adults that typically 11th graders don't have the opportunity to do. So uh, there are some challenges out there. Okay. So we look at your plan and okay. come up with a different solution. Okay. Because High Tech High is a project-based school, we really take our internships to the next level. Yeah. We train our mentors and we push them to really empower our 11th grade students to work on meaningful projects for their organization. I mean, how often do, does it bounce off the, uh, the geography in the right way? Because most of the time our helicopters are below the receivers. Well, we the internships include a two-week immersion period in the middle of the semester. This is the first year that they're having immersion, so I'm here 9 to 4 for two weeks. Um, and I think that it's really great as well. It gives me a chance to get a lot done. For the rest of the semester, Katie spends two afternoons a week on site. Now, what do you think about his concept of flying to height? I don't like it because um, they'll just be hovering between 1,000 feet and a little above 500 feet, right? Okay. From the very first day we started taking her to meetings, she's asked great questions. She understands the the engineering and the science behind what we're trying to do. So if your mountaintop is here, then this would be, this is an aerial view, but this would be your normal bubble of coverage. And I'm trying to figure out where bubbles are, where there wouldn't be coverage. Because it's not like we're having to explain physics to her. She already knows a lot of that. And what she doesn't know, she goes on the internet and researches. But then Hugh is also putting in um, what's called a quad receiver which can be angled, so you get something like this. So he wants to know the range of that as well. We're getting a lot out of this, and her project is to build a map and then I have that will be used by every public here. safety agency so in the county. In the end, point. when the big one the breaks out, the next natural disaster or fire, we're going to go to the map Katie well. made. So it's going to be a valuable project for years to come. For more information on what works in public education, go to edutopia.org.